Wonder Woman was a great movie for equal opportunity eye candy. Straight guys and gay girls can enjoy Gal Gadot in the armor. Gay guys and straight girls can enjoy a mostly naked Chris Pine. By and pan, people get to enjoy both. And if you're ace like me, well, she threw a tank with her bare hands and <laughs> that's as good as it gets. I really like this post. <laughs> this is true. This is extremely true. And it's the same for most films, if you think about it. It's, re it's, it's why they normally, you know, hire actors that are really attractive. It's to give as many people as possible something nice to look at. Be it the actors, or some of the VFX, or the scenery, or the landscape. It, it's, it's a bit of something for everyone, you know? But yet, yeah, throwing tanks with their hands? You <laughs> that's for me. Hello and welcome to Calbus. My name is Zen, and today I'm taking Lumo's normal stomping ground. It's r slash Tumblr. I never really use Tumblr. All I know is it's got a lot of weird things going on on there. <laughs> From the outside, looking at very cherry picked insides. That that was a weird sentence. Let's just let's just jump in, shall we? Well, that's awkward. Sometimes I get mad at Australian stereotypes, but then I remember that my backyard looks like, well, this. I'm freaking out. This is my backyard. How did you get this picture? Oh, never mind. I just found my brother's blog by accident. Small world in a very big world. <laughs> what are the chances? What are the actual chances of this? I, I, I guess higher than you'd expect. Although it does fill me with a kind of primal fear, just thinking about, you know, just stumbling upon like a family member's or a close friend's social media. And it's, you know, it's not something they've shared with you, but it's public and, oh no, why is it marked NSFW? Oh no. <laughs> just stumbling upon something you didn't know and clearly they didn't really want you to know either. Uh, <laughs> it's always a possibility. You never know. You never know. And it's actually happened to me. Uh, I stumbled upon one of my brothers. Yeah, I'm not going to say anymore. All I'm going to say is I learned a lot about him that day. Uh... <laughs> I smell burnt toast. I told this lassie next to me on the bus her guide dog was brought and she went, Ah, I wouldn't again. I choked on my arm, brew pure spluttering. Translation, I told this girl next to me on the bus that her guide dog was cute and she said, Ah, I wouldn't know. And I choked on my coffee. I think this is the first one of these that I literally couldn't understand a damn thing written. Well, let me tell you right now, uh, the translation is wrong. It's absolutely wrong. Iron Brew is a drink on its own. It is not coffee. Iron Brew is like, it's just fizzy pop. It's soda. It's, it is the, <laughs> it is the Scottish fizzy drink of choice. And it is God's nectar. <laughs> I used to drink so much of that for university. I'm pretty sure that's why I'm ginger. So... <laughs> Look it up. It is, I think it's like illegal in the US uh, for some reason. I think it's like one of the additives or something like that, which is bizarre to me. It's bizarre considering the amount of other crap you're allowed to consume over there and other things you're allowed to buy. But Iron Brew? <laughs> Seriously, if you ever come to Scotland or if you know someone from Scotland and they're, they're, they're willing to send you something, get some Iron Brew. Your life will change forever. As someone who studies linguistics, I will never not laugh when someone says, that word doesn't exist. Like, my good- Hello, Gordon. If a word is regularly used by a certain amount of people, then it exists. If it has its own grammatical rules, then it's perfectly valid. It's part of their lexicon now, sweetie. I'm, I don't think I've got the sassy tone right for this. Hold on, let me try and readjust. Oof. It's a made up word, honey. All words are made up. Linguists didn't just freaking excavate Athens and were like, behold, vocabulary. That word isn't in the diction. Dictionaries are not rule books, they're record books. Refrigerate didn't exist 200 years ago, and yet here we are. A language that doesn't adapt to an ever changing society is bound to be lost because eventually it won't be able to keep up with social progress. You mother frickers. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> First take, first try. Totally didn't scuff that up multiple times. <laughs> but no, this is absolutely true, which is why in around about 20 years, I'm pretty sure most of everyone's vocabulary and how we're just going to communicate with each other is just going to be Twitch emotes. I am convinced. 
we're just going to be walking down and be like, Pog Pog, Pog Pog, uh, Pog Champ. Yes, the, yes, yes, thank you. Uh, Peepo Pog. It's, it's, <laughs> and that is how you buy <laughs> some Iron Brew from your local shop. Try Iron Brew. Seriously, it's so good. Writing. Anyone else remember being a child and seeing the very neat handwriting of the other little girls and somehow knowing that you were a different genre of person than they were? Literally, no. I remember seeing bad handwriting and thinking, oh, these other kids must be orphans or something. Fascinating to hear from the other genre. Thanks for your contribution. <laughs> the different genre of person. What? <laughs> I don't. Does, is that an applicable word for this situation? I feel like it shouldn't be, but it kind of feels like it is. Different genre of person. Oh, oh God, that that is a um, that is a skill. Just being able to tell if what type of person they are from their handwriting. Could you imagine working in a post office, just sorting through the letters and be like, uh, orphan, orphan, sociopath, CEO, doctor. Oh, that's an easy one. That's just scribbles. Although on that note, I feel like, like most people, my handwriting skills have declined a lot, considering how much we use computers and don't really need to write things down, you know? <laughs> I'm always shocked when I have to write something and it's just like, oh, that's how I write now. I love how the devil went down to Georgia, which either implies one, that the devil is a northerner, or two, that Georgia is lower than hell. <laughs> Hashtag as a southerner, yes. <laughs> what is Georgia known for? Actually, hold on. Georgia is the country's number one producer of peanuts and pecans and Vidalia onions, known as the sweetest onions in the world. It's also known as the Peach State and is also where Coca-Cola was invented. All right, okay, sure. I, I don't know anything about uh, the states. I don't know how other states see other ones. All I know is that the world would be better off if Florida didn't exist. And that's about it. <laughs> that's literally my knowledge of America. <laughs> you kids these days in your fancy sprinting and motion controls. When I was your age, we couldn't make Link run faster. No, we had to roll across Hyrule Field and make it to Kakariko by nightfall barefoot in the snow, tapping the A button repeatedly for 10 miles. And we were grateful. Okay, Grandpa, calm down. <laughs> oh, we know, Grandpa, we've heard the stories of you and Slurp many times before. We don't need to hear about how it was so much harder in the past. We've got it so easy now. Man, can we just, can we just think about this? About just like, think of how long ago it was that we had like ocarina of time and just like mobile phones and all this kind of stuff and how fast it has progressed like it is crazy to think about that's all this has got me thinking about is just like i've lived through like a lot of this stuff being developed and it's just crazy to think about where we are now oh oh <laughs> oh straight people are so wild today my co-worker informed me that cafes are for women and bars are for men and her husband refuses to enter starbucks in case they think he's gay what's up next is incredibly <laughs> unnecessary gendering so the bar he goes to or has only guys in it that doesn't sound very straight i mean yeah maybe you're just looking into that one a little bit too far buddy <laughs> i refuse <laughs> cafes are fantastic to hang out in i'm just saying cafes are for everyone and just being able to sit there and just relax and just chat with some friends and just chill with like a hot, cup of hot chocolate and you know just drinking away and just chatting and just oh it's even better it's even better in just like uh colder weather and you just see outside it's like snowing lightly and you know it's cold but inside it's nice and warm just like banal f music is playing in the background and you're just like ah yes my hot chocolate is nice and warm. Wow, I've just really convinced myself I really want to go to Starbucks, and I don't really go to Starbucks that often. Well, definitely not any recently. Uh, <laughs> for over, like, two years now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Also, yeah, don't just gender things unnecessarily. Like, not everything needs to be gendered. Just don't be dumb. Jeez. Lemony Snicket's advice on writing a nice thank you note. One, do not start with the thank you. Two, Start with any other sentence. If you first say, thank you for the nice sweater, you can't imagine what to write next. Say, it was so wonderful to come home from school to find this nice sweater. Thank you for thinking of me on Arbor Day. Three, then you're done. 
I recommend learning how to write a very good thank you note. A child who can write a nice thank you note can turn into a cocaine dealer five years later and be remembered as the child who wrote nice thank you notes. <gasps> wow, that went from zero to 100 very quickly. <laughs> But yes, it is true. If you uh, put in a little bit of effort and be known for something, uh, something, you know, but no, there is some truth to this. If you uh, spend some time and establish yourself as someone that is known for something that is innocent and, you know, something well received and nothing sinister. <laughs> I, I was trying to avoid like a hard word like sinister. Uh, <laughs> then if you do start doing some bad things, then nobody's gonna expect you to be that person because you're the one that writes the nice thank you notes. There's no way that they can be the one that manipulated people into buying so many cats to sell on the black market. Who's buying the cats? I don't know, but it can't be them. They write great thank you notes. And that's all the time we have for today on Calbus. If you liked the video, consider dropping a like or maybe even subscribing or maybe even sharing with a friend and being like, ha 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 ha, funny video. If you want to see some more r slash tumblr then wait around just a couple more seconds because another one will be popping up on your screen but on that note i have been your host zen and i hope to see you in the very next video have a great rest of your day